It's the Christmas season, ladies and gentlemen. And that means it's time to do a little bit of speed running. I stopped doing speed running for about six or so months for this game, given I've only done three of them. Let's let's give it that. Um, I stopped because of this course, course number three, which has the skeet targets that fly in the air, which you'll notice I'm going to ignore if you even do see them. But we got a couple that pop up here in the air, and they take too long to actually shoot, unless you're extremely accurate and you get them both in the air at the same time. But I frankly just didn't want to bother with that. I did not have the skill nor the time to get the skills to shoot those in the air like that. Especially when the, you got others. Every time you get a little can opening sound, that's a ski target popping up about half an inch away from my face on the castle wall. It's great. We got this section here, which is kind of a pain because if you don't shoot the targets left or right, then it uh, you get shot for some reason. Or at least the target goes down and you get penalized, so. You gotta do it their way. Gonna run over here with binoculars, get a little speed boost. And pull on my MXM again. I get a little bit sloppy here, if I remember correctly. Don't put those targets back behind the grass. And the reason for that is that it's difficult to identify where the heck these white targets are popping up. Alright, running over here. Forgot to reload. That's alright. I have enough space to be good here. I'm gonna go for the pop up targets again first because I don't want them to shoot me. There we go. You can see the uh, skeet targets flying up there. It's 2.5 seconds, minus 2.5 seconds for each one you hit. So I'm just gonna leave them for now. There we go. I'm gonna go ahead and run up to the castle wall at the top of it. This is slightly challenging because of the angle of the hill. It gets a little bit disorienting trying to mark your targets. But if you have enough patience to make sure your target is aligned, then you get used to it pretty fast. Now I'm going to run over to the little shortcut I got here, where it's on this wall. It hurts my legs a bit. Sometimes my legs decide to break, but fortunately, not this time. I'm just going to go ahead and unload the rest here and reload my gun. Next section is the pistol section. I dropped all my pistol ammo except for one mag because that's all I'm going to need. I'm going to clear this out while moving and run to the hut. Do a gut shot on this guy. I'm going to move the right side here so I can get everyone in my visual. And that's all I need the pistol for. Switch back to the binoculars. I'm going to start running down the hill towards the shoot section at the end of the course where the... Uh, Targets move towards the purple guys, which if you shoot, then you get penalized for that. Gotta shoot a little low, take out their legs, cripple them, just in case they get bullet penetration. And there's the final guy. I'm gonna get my night clears, sprint up, touch a cone, and there we have it. That is the Red Course Fire 3. That means that I am done with all the Red Course of Fires. This is another world record for a veteran, and technically, I haven't seen anything faster on a regular or whatnot. But there you go, folks. I'm gonna delay here for a minute so you can see what I was using. You can see all the all the times I failed. Holy crap, did I fail! Let's go and take a look at all that. Holy crap! Yeah, I was playing this so long that it started raining in the game. And, uh, that didn't help trying to find targets, I'm not going to lie. There you have it, 24th in the world on the leaderboard. Which, who knows how accurate that is, considering there's people zero seconds on it. <laughs> Alright, there you go, veteran, and mods, none being used. Alright, anyway, thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys next time, alright? Adios.